Hello there. What is going on, everybody? We've got some awesome cosplay accessories. These are really, really cool stuff we're going to be looking at today. And uh, oh my goodness, I am so excited to get into this stuff. Uh, this is some really cool cyberpunk themed uh, cosplay from my cost time. Uh, they are absolutely awesome. And you may have seen my latest uh, cyberpunk themed mask review. Uh, I'll put a link to that at the end of the video. Uh, we are looking at a very cool mask. This is a cyberpunk gothic mask, as well as some arm and hand armor. It's a mechanical punk hand armor, as well as uh, these bracers. And we're going to take a look at all of these. Uh, I mean, these are, these are really cool stuff. So if you are trying to do like a cyber ninja, cyberpunk themed, or maybe even a Sith Inquisitor, or in this case, blue, so maybe Jedi, uh, or, or some kind of hybrid, uh, or, you know, you can do this for anything. It, it fits all kinds of really cool cosplay types of uh, types of ideas. Uh, there's a lot of really cool, uh, you know, themes and stuff that that work with all this stuff, and it, it's electric and it lights up. I'm gonna put links to all of this stuff in the video description below. But if you want to check any of this stuff out, definitely check out those links. Um, we are also giving away a $165 Amazon gift card. Uh, for a uh, Star Wars Shatterpoint core set or whatever else you want to put it towards. Uh, but all you have to do to enter to win that is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. Uh, tell me what you would use something like this for. Let me know in the comments. Would you pair it with a lightsaber? Would you pair it with like a trench coat? Uh, would you pair it with some kind of other cyberpunk accessories and, and, and different things like that? Um, it's very, very cool stuff. I'm going to break down each of these pieces uh, one by one and show you what I like about them, what I don't. We'll try them on uh, and get your thoughts. Let me know uh, in the comments below. Uh, and again, big thanks to my cost time for sending this out. They sent this out to me for review. Uh, so full disclosure, uh, I didn't pay for any of this stuff. They sent it all out. Uh, but I'm definitely going to have fun with this stuff. Let's go ahead and start taking a closer look. All right, so first thing I want to show you is these gloves. These are so cool. There is so much you can do with these. Uh, I feel like they can work on a number of different ways. You could do single glove, dual glove. Uh, you could go kind of more like Empire, like uh, Imperial kind of Sith assassin. Definitely cyberpunk or some kind of mysterious hero of your own creation. Uh, this is a really cool piece. Now, it's got hand armor right here. Uh, and then along the fingers... Uh, has multiple separate pieces that allow for movement, so you can totally bend the fingers and move them. Uh, now they are shipped in a pretty good package, and I'll show you guys. Like uh, it is some of the packaging materials, so it's like it's like shipped in here to really keep it uh, super safe and secure, which is awesome. Uh, and they're also shipped with like these uh, these foam like finger type inserts to kind of help it keep its shape. So if you can look in there, uh, this one is going to kind of have uh, the more of the shape of a hand in here, a little bit easier. Well, they are available in both male and female sizes. Um, now, my I have pretty large hands, so uh, I have a harder time getting this on, but that's okay. There's a couple of different ways that you can make this work. All right, so you have a basically a battery uh, holder in here because these are going to power on. And you see all of these uh, blue uh, strips here. Uh, these are actually uh, going to light up, and it's going to look even cooler uh, when you turn out the lights. And we're going to demo all of that. Um, now on the uh, bottom end of the hand armor, uh, and again, this is all really glossy, so it's very cool. It's it's, it's like um, it's it's like a thin metal or a really hard plastic. Uh, I think it's like a thin, maybe maybe painted aluminum. Um, it's it's really really thin, but uh, it has a has a clank to it, so it's, it definitely gives you that that armor appearance, right? Uh, which is really cool. Um, I'm kind of digging it. Uh, but we have uh, we have basically a, a, a band here that goes around. Uh, now this this can come off uh, if you don't want to have this part on, but this does have the battery pack in here. Now this battery pack doesn't bolt on or screw on, but they do have uh, some some ties that come with this that you can secure it. Uh, and there's and, it, and I like that because I'm going to show you when I when I put it on uh, like different ways that you can you can secure it because I will not be uh, having this fully secured because I can't get my hand through there. Again, uh, this is this one is going to work a little bit easier for maybe a smaller hand than mine. I've got really big hands, and you can see like my wrist compared to that 
there's no contest. I'm a big dude, though. Um, so, uh, but but uh, all right, but I can still. I've already tried one of these on, so I can still manage to get it on. So I can still demo it for you. Uh, but uh, but this was uh, this one was made with maybe a slightly smaller hand than mine. Another cool thing is that you are getting a glove in here as well, so you won't have to see any of your skin showing through if you wanted to go for the completely concealed appearance, which is very cool. Uh, we're going to be demoing this in just a minute, um, but uh, you know, at, at first look, I think it looks really, really cool. I, I love how how creepy and skeletal it looks, but at the same time, uh, it's also like a, like a mix of uh, of like the old and the new. It looks kind of like it's got a little bit of fantasy going on with it but also a lot of futuristic uh, sci-fi and cyberpunk themes. Um, I like this holding the battery here, uh, but it, uh, it's not super secure unless you use the, uh, the, the straps. Uh, although you do have the opening for the plug. You will have a kind of a loose plug connection, so you can kind of try to secure this inside here a little bit if you want. Uh, you know, so you, but that you may have want to put a little bit of black electrical tape somewhere, um, you know, to, to do that. Uh, but I like that they left it open initially, because you don't, again, you don't have to use the battery pack. Like you may not, like it's, when I've turned it on and I'll show you guys here in just a minute, it's not that bright. Let me, let me show you with this, with this other one. It's not like ultra, ultra bright. Plus I have, I have lights on right now. So it's going to be, you can see, you see right there. It's, it's only a little bit brighter. So if I turn the lights down, let me do that real quick. All right, so now I've got the lights down pretty dim in here, and I'll turn them on for you can see, can see. Although I don't know if you'll be wearing these in really dark areas, but if you do, if I can switch it once, and it's going to alternate, which is pretty cool. Like maybe that's low power mode, and I can turn it all the way, and then it's on uh, full time, which is really cool. Uh, that's a nice look to it. All right, next up is the bracer. Now, this one is actually listed as a, a waistband on the website, uh, but it's more of an armband. I don't know anybody with a waist that this could go around. Um, so I think that was just kind of a, uh, maybe a, a, a dialect difference or whatever. But uh, this is basically a bracer, your forearm armor, uh, and this can go on a variety of different sized arms. You have the little clips right here and, uh, and right there. And this goes pretty easily on your forearm, uh, like so. Uh, fits on my arm, no problem at all. Uh, and it kind of has a little bit of like a Mandalorian kind of feel too. You feel a little bit like Mandalorianized uh, with this on. I really, really like it. Uh, and it also does light up. Uh, I'll demonstrate that with the darker armor here in just a second. Uh, but it's also got a lot of expansion capability. You've got these little areas here that they don't really do much, but they're like, uh, you know, you, you could add things to them. You've got your battery pack in here uh, with the power uh, the switch right there. So this is a lot more accessible, a lot easier to use, which is awesome. We also have this piece here, which something could potentially uh, affix onto. You could like, you could modify this a lot if you wanted to add onto it and do even more creative things with it, which is very, very cool. Let me show you with the lights dimmed down. All right, so I've got the lights turned down. I'm whispering now, I'm gonna turn it on. Uh, we've got the double, the flashing, basically the same kind of pattern that you're gonna see with the gloves and then all the way on. And that is just, basically you can you can push this switch one click or all the way out to the side. So if I go put one click back, boom, it's gonna do uh, the flashing pattern and then all the way back, boom, and then it's off. And then you're saving your battery. Now these just take uh, uh, AAA batteries so uh, pretty easy, easy to find batteries for these. All right, so now let's look at the cyberpunk gothic mask. That's gonna bring the whole thing together. The last one I reviewed was in red. This one is in blue and uh, it's a very bright, vivid blue too. It's very pretty. Uh, we've got a couple of different shades of blue going on here. We got a lighter blue on the inside, darker blue. Uh, these are all different stickers that go on here. So if you wanted to change these out or remove them or modify them, you'd probably be able to do that without too much difficulty. Uh, still got that nice matte black finish everywhere else on here. And then the uh, the visor, you're gonna be able to see through this one. The last one I reviewed also had a lot of visibility. Uh, on the inside, we are getting some padding in here. Uh, and so you, know, you got a lot of uh, airflow in here, so you're gonna be able to breathe really, really easy. Um, they have corrected uh, one of the things that I was not as thrilled about with the last mask is that the battery was exposed 
and now it is covered up so there's like no risk of uh of of your uh chin kind of bumping the battery so that's really cool um but yes, we all, you're also going to notice uh, a couple of wires that are coming out of the top. Uh, the last mask I reviewed didn't have these, and this is a new feature. This allows these uh, panel lines to light up. So not only are you going to be getting uh, lights in the middle, lights on the sides, you're also going to be getting these panel lines, and you can choose any kind of variation on these you want. Now, the cool thing about this is you're getting some other stuff with this mask. So let me show you what else you're getting. You're going to be getting uh, a couple of these USB uh, uh, chargers and these are going to be able to charge uh, up these little side lights which is going to be really nice because you can uh, charge them up and you don't have to worry about batteries for those um, you're also going to be getting uh, an extra extension cable and what this is going to do uh, I probably won't use it for this particular demo but uh, you're going to have a battery pack here to uh, to turn on these lights and I'll demonstrate this a little bit more uh, with the lights out but uh, but this is something if you wanted to equip run this all the way down like if you don't want to hold this in your hand you wanted to equip this to your belt or put it in your pocket uh, you can extend uh, the length of this because it's only uh, it's only about this long right now so you'll probably want to uh, you know and this is an easy clip that will come out and uh, and you can let me see where does it go it comes out right there there we go and so it just comes out like that and then you can put that back in uh, or uh, equip it to our little extension right there and then run that into your belt uh, you're also going to be getting a kind of a, a gator neck or a baklava uh, that's basically going to be your little ninja mask uh, and you can put this on it'll have uh, it's got a, pl fa uh, a place for your 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 eyes and your face to kind of show through but uh but without uh, you, know, you know exposing you like your neck and your hair and all that other stuff so you can kind of keep that mysterious uh that mysterious uh, ninja sith uh, Jedi, cyberpunk, uh, android, whatever you want to be, um, you can do that with this. So pretty cool stuff. Um, let me show you what this can do with the lights out. All right. So we've got, uh, most of the lights are out now. So it's a lot darker in here and we can kind of showcase, uh, this thing a little bit more. Now, a cool thing about this feature here is, um, with our little remote here that will probably be in our belt. We can, we have got a couple of different patterns for these lights. So if I hit it once, we're going to see one type. Uh, and it's kind of like fade on and fade off, which is pretty cool. We can cycle through some different ones where it's going to now it's going to be sh it's going to just, you know, con constantly shift. That's a pretty cool one. Uh, and then we've got different, you know, and you can cycle through them. You got to, and then it eventually goes off. So kind of if you wanted to do the slow fade, the quick or the uh, the slower kind of blinking pattern. Um, you can do a lot of that. So I thought that that's pretty cool. Uh, but what interesting is about that is that this is a different intensity. This is more of a subtle intensity uh, than some of our other lights. So if we want to do our side lights, it's going to get a little bit brighter. Uh, these two side lights have a little button here. And if we tap that uh, and hold them, they're going to turn on. There we go. And they're both, they're individual ones. So you can control them both individually if you want just one side on or just the other side on. And if you tap these, you're going to go through different effects. Um, you know, that's why I like, I like, I actually like this one the best where it's just kind of rotating back and forth. Uh, and that combos really well with the front light, which has got a little button here on the side and that turns on the, the big light right there. Uh, and now of course, if you also then turn on the other light, it's not going to be as bright as these, uh, but you can still see it, right? So you can get all of them going at the same time, which is pretty cool. It'll look really, really good at a rave. This is sure to get you some attention or somebody will call the police on you or something <laughs> crazy like that. Uh, very, very, very creepy looking. Uh, I think I'm going to try all of it on. All right. So now I've got everything on. You can see how it looks. Very, very creepy. Cool. Um, I'm kind of digging these fingers. It's, uh, <laughs> it's very blue. It's very illuminated. Um, I'm feeling like, uh, like definitely like a cyber ninja, definitely a very cool thing. Definitely need help getting these gloves on. <laughs> cool stuff. All right, folks. So I am pretty impressed with how very, very cool this all looks. Um, overall, my thoughts are a lot of batteries, a lot of things to turn on, but once it's all on, looks incredible. Uh, it's the, uh, the fit on the bracers was really, really good. The, the helmet fits really, really good. Even if you're wearing glasses, not a problem. Uh, the gloves were a little tight on me. I had a, uh, a kind of a harder time making sure that they all got on me and fit, uh, just right. 
Uh, I think I might have had a size too small. Uh, they do offer them in both uh, female and male sizes. I think I might have gotten the female sizing, so uh, I would say just uh, just check that out. Uh, but uh, again, I also do have pretty big hands. So, uh, but I'm still able to get them on. Uh, I was able to do both of them by myself with one just like maybe 80% on. Uh, but if you get help, I definitely recommend having somebody assist you and making sure that no skin is showing. Wearing a long sleeve shirt, you can cover up all your skin. And then you can customize and add some additional stuff like cyberpunk jackets or any kind of chest pieces or anything else that you want to do. Um, overall, really, really cool stuff. Uh, check out mycosttime.com. I'm going to put a link in the description below for all of these different pieces so you can check them out uh, and thank them uh, for, uh, for helping, uh, I want to thank them for helping make this review possible by sending all this stuff out. So very, very cool stuff. Uh, Halloween is going to be super fun this year and maybe even some convention stuff as well. I want to thank you all so much for hanging out with me today and watching this awesome review. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. I will talk to you later. May the force be with you, be excellent to each other. So say we all and, uh, cowabunga.